hey guys, in school we teach you a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I am well aware is not going to be very useful for you in the rest of your life. If you're not going to do A-level chemistry, you are not going to need to balance an equation again, ever. No matter how important I say it is for your GCSE, it is really important, I know that even if you do A-level chemistry or go and do chemistry at university, in reality, you're going to use a computer to balance the equations for you. You're never actually going to need this skill. The same with loads of skills you get in maths, geography, history. We teach you a load of stuff that isn't actually very useful for your life. And sometimes we skip over the stuff that is useful for your life. Um, so, I'm going to talk to you today about something that happened. Um, which may not be useful, may be useful, may be useful in a few years time, maybe 10 years time and you can just remember it and go, oh, yeah. So I'm going to talk to you today about what it feels like to be told that you can't have a baby because it's quite devastating really. Um, so some of you will be aware that I am now pregnant following my second round of IVF which both of those are separate videos, you can go and watch those, I'm not talking about those today. Um, but what I want you to imagine is that there is like a lottery for something and it's something you really really want like you know backstage passes to Justin Bieber or Panic at the Disco or the Champions League final or something something like that something you really really want and you've basically got a one in four chance of winning so like every month you just have a go and you've got a one in four chance of winning this lottery and you start and you try <clears throat> with the lottery for you know a few months and it's not happening you're like okay so i just need to wait a bit longer that's fine we're just gonna keep trying with the lottery and then after about a year kind of like nothing's happening so you go and ask people why why isn't it happening and then um you know you have to do loads and loads of things but it took me well going back to being pregnant it took four years for me to get pregnant the first time. So I want you to imagine how it feels like entering this lottery every month for four years and knowing that you've got a one in four chance of winning the lottery and every single month for four years you don't. One in four chance on every single month for four years nothing happens. And during this time um, I want you to imagine that you know, your friends win the lottery and you have to smile and be happy for them because they're friends, that's great. And they come back and tell you about how amazing the console was, how amazing the football game was and you have to sit there and smile because you're a good friend. Or um, one of your friends wasn't even in the lottery and just won it by accident. And you're kind of like, I'm so happy for you. I'm so delighted. It is great. Um, or then one of your other friends um, wins the lottery and decides she doesn't want to win the lottery decides she wants to get rid of the tickets and because you're her friend um, you have to go with her and hold her hand while she gets rid of the tickets because you're her friend and that's what friends do even though inside it's literally killing you um, so, the reason I'm making this video is, you know, like I said, life happens to people. Balancing equations don't happen to people. Um, and it, it's going to happen to quite a lot of you, I'm afraid. Like, one in six people have trouble trying to have a baby. And it's not something we cover in school. It's not something that we ever really talk about, the emotional impact of growing up and having a life and how to deal with everything. It's not something we, we ever cover. Um, a significant portion of that people will go and have IVF and it only works about 40% of the time. There was a program, Panorama, um, a few months ago about this woman who had spent £70,000 on 11 rounds of IVF and still didn't have a baby. And it's just... I know, I know how she feels, I know why she kept going and going and going and going and I know how incredibly lucky I am that I have one child and then I'm pregnant again 
because for so many people it just doesn't happen. Um, hopefully um, you will all get pregnant when you want to, you'll be supported during it um, and that it'll be a nice easy pregnancy, please wait at least 10 years, at least 10 years, 25 if you might say to have kids. Um, um, but if you don't, if you are one of the people that struggles, maybe you'll remember this video, maybe you'll remember something I said, maybe something will be helpful and I really really hope you find support out there. It's really important that, you know, we talk about things like infertility, IVF, miscarriage because there are things that people don't talk about and when it happens to you it's really lonely really really lonely and isolating because people don't talk about it and you feel like it's never happened to anyone in the whole entire world i remember um when we went to the doctors it was just before christmas i can't even remember it must have been four, three four years ago now and the doctor gave us our set of test results back and he said uh, you'll never have kids never and he said it in such a matter-of-fact way you will never have children just like that not I'm sorry or here's something you can do it's just there was just nothing they could do about it and um, obviously we found a doctor who did think there was something they could do about it but just sitting there in the doctor's chair and having them say that to you just I mean just completely shakes the world I mean you, you have like a plan for your future and whether it includes kids or whether it doesn't include kids um, to be told that one of the things that you planned on doing is fundamentally never going to happen is devastating um, so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now I've been a bit rambly for this one I do apologize um, so yeah that's it